Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome back to another update. So as most of you guys know right now from past updates is that when it comes to the world of just fourth stimulus checks, it's going to be a little bit difficult as most of you guys know to try to do it on the federal level. Now there are still plans and we're definitely going to talk about that in future updates. But what is looking a lot more probable is for them to do some kind of very focused state stimulus checks. Now the great news is, is that we now officially have information that there are actually several states that have now officially approved their own stimulus check. So in today's update is I really just want to talk about which states now currently have a stimulus check of some kind. This is actually especially important because in many of these states, there's actually a deadline to be able to apply. So they are not automatic. They are things that you have to physically apply for. And the deadline for some of them is the very, very end of this year. Now, obviously, there are some other programs we've talked about about as a quick 10 second recap um, is that there's obviously the EIDL grant program we talked about. There's two videos we made about that, technically three, but two videos that will be at the very, very end screen if you're interested. All that is is that it's essentially a grant, a stimulus check of somewhere between five to $15,000 for anyone that happens to either be a business owner or happens to be unemployed, but either runs a side hustle of some kind or is self-employed, especially past PUA programs, but of course we already talked about this. I do maybe want to do a really quick insert is that some people kind of wanted me to cover is that you might have actually heard floating around in maybe other people's videos or just articles that have been kind of floating around about something which is basically like an $80,000 stimulus. I know it sounds a little bit wild, 80, you know, something or what that is. So there is a program that's going on right now, very subtle. It is a very, very focused program. It is meant to give many, many people, let's just say like thousands of dollars of stimulus check, probably average more about 10,000. However, it is not a traditional stimulus check. So hopefully it will make a little bit more sense. So it's not like a check where they're going to just write you a physical check and send it to you or a direct deposit. It's actually much more of a program that men to give you a couple tens of thousands of dollars in order to cover past the debt that you might have. But we're definitely going to talk about that and there'll be timestamps all around so you guys can kind of jump around this video. So we're going to get started. But as always, the same exact rule as always, 10 seconds. Consider smashing the like button if you guys enjoy videos like this. It is always greatly appreciated, but you guys can decide. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly just anything. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So the first stimulus check that we're really going to be talking about is that there are now several states that recently just approved a kind of vaccine stimulus check where they will essentially pay you money to get the vaccine. This isn't to encourage people to necessarily do or not get the vaccine, but it's just to kind of put out the information. I do know that New York City definitely has a stimulus check program where they will give you $100 to get the vaccine. And the reason I know and can definitely confirm is because I actually got on this program. So that is the really great news. Um, but there are also a couple of other states, like I believe in Rhode Island, in Arizona, I believe those are two of the states where they're thinking about giving stimulus checks for people that get vaccinated and also happen to work certain jobs, but even more specifically for the state. It's a little bit more of like a bonus check to help people in those particular states and also to incentivize more people to get vaccinated. But I definitely recommend looking up information. You can probably Google up vaccination or vaccinated bonus and then just include your state and hopefully something will come up. But those are just the most popular states I know that are doing this, this program. Now, maybe also another really quick insert is that there are several states that are now doing a back to work bonus. We already talked about that in a past video. I'll put it also at the very, very end screen. So we won't talk as much about that, but I do want to also put it out there because the back to work bonus in Connecticut, if by any chance you happen to be there, the deadline is actually coming up by the very end of this week, essentially by the last, so December 31st, 2021. So I would just put it out there if you do happen to be in Connecticut to maybe try to look that or consider that program because it's going to be about $1,000 and 
it's coming up very very soon so definitely something to kind of look at before the before the due date and deadline comes up now there is also another program right now and this one's actually a federal program across all 50 states which is basically the plus up stimulus checks now there is one thing that i think we haven't covered yet which is about how if let's say for example by the end of this week you don't end up managing to get the plus up stimulus check we did make a video about that i'll also put that at the very very end screen um but the idea is that if you don't end up getting this stimulus check, which some people will be getting by the very, very end of this week, there's a something called the recovery rebate credit, which it's basically a part of a, it's basically a document that you would attach to your taxes when you do your taxes next year in order to claim past stimulus money that maybe was not necessarily delivered from the first, the second, and the third stimulus check. That's basically where you really want to go if you end up just for reasons a whole bunch of reasons not being able to get it by the very very end of this year which is when the irs has officially promised they will send the final wave now there is also another program going on called the earn income tax credit so what this is is that it's interestingly also a tax related um stimulus Granted, I mean, technically, the first three stimulus checks were tax-related. I mean, there's a reason why the first three stimulus checks was a check where you can keep the entire thing and you don't have to pay taxes because it was technically a tax credit. The thing is, is that there is now another program that is called the Earned Income Tax Credit, which is essentially a program that is for anyone that happens to be a low income individual, but still does have income in general, maybe from a very low paying job. It's a way to essentially reduce the amount of taxes, but to give part of that money back for many people as essentially essentially a tax credit. So it's a stimulus check, but it's more of like a specialized stimulus check. But this program, what's great is, is that it also is a program that applies in all 50 states. Now, the last program that I really want to talk about is pretty much about that massive $10,000, $20,000 stimulus grant that some videos might be talking about to really clarify what that is. So several states over the last couple of months, including this recent month, have actually now officially opened up applications or approved of a program that's meant to essentially give people that are homeowners or on some kind of mortgage a grant to cover up their uh, to cover up the mortgage that they currently have so why this is you know maybe hopefully to clarify is, is because you might see other videos that talk about this and maybe to really put it out there is that yes there is a program right now that's going on in some states um this is a map that basically highlights which of these states have this particular program you really just want to look at any of the states that have the color blue which pretty much just means that they're either thinking about doing this program or they are doing this program and it is approved and it is going on right now the most popular of all of these states is probably the one in california which is called the california mortgage relief program maybe i'll leave a link to that if you just happen to be there but if you literally just google it up california mortgage relief program it should be one of the very very first links that pop up so what this pretty much is 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 that it's a program going on there that's supposed to give up to $80,000 worth of money. However, I think it's important to clarify is, is that this is not an $80,000 stimulus check where they're pretty much going to give you a whole one year. I mean, many people, most people in this country don't even make $80,000 as an annual salary. But what this really is, is that it's essentially a program where if you were to send in your mortgage payment, they will potentially cover up to $80,000 worth of debt that you might own oh, from the mortgage that you currently have. So hopefully this kind of clarifies what's really going on there. However, it's also important to notice is that this is actually saying that it's up to $80,000. And I would say is that in most situations, it's probably going to be right around $10,000. Just because of the way that the program works, it's probably going to be a much more smaller number. So that is something important to note, but it just, 
is basically something that's up to 80,000. Now, I think it's also maybe important to notice is that this is going on in several states. So that is the really, really great news. Um, you do have to apply for it. So I think that's something important to put out there. And probably most of all is, is that there are actually pretty strict requirements that you have to have in order to get on this. So for example, is that the home that you have has to be in a relatively low income area. Um, you do also have to be on some kind of public assistance programs. So there's a lot of very, very specific metrics, but it is something that's definitely maybe to look into, worth it to look into. And I believe it's because especially since they estimate that it's probably going to be given out to right around 40,000 people. So that is still a lot of people. I mean, that's, that's enough to basically build like a giant college campus. But the idea is, is that if you happen to be there, it's definitely something to look into, especially in California, but even in any of the other states that if you saw from the map that we just mentioned is highlighted in blue. But beyond that is, is that that's what I really just wanted to cover in today's update. So if you guys found that relatively insightful and haven't done so, maybe consider smashing the like button, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. Of course, you guys can decide if you really want to. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly just anything. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well, happy holidays. We are almost at the very end of this year, which is so crazy how fast time flies. But of course, most of all, Thank you guys so much again.